Hi, I'm Derek Briggs, Product Manager for Sagami Rem Sales. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly touch off a stick tool using the standard tool point procedure on your Sagami machine. So turning tool method number one for touching off on a Swiss machine, we're actually gonna put it in tool number 27 down here in the bottom corner. So I'm, that tool on that side is gonna be upside down. The front side over here on, over here would be right side up like this. So we have a right hand tool. It's gonna be upside down on the back side. You have three five millimeter socket head cap screws and then some four millimeter, the, the two flush ones are gonna be uh, jack screws only. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to loosen up my wedge clamp So in this method, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use what we call in the Swiss world, standard tool point. So every machine model is a little bit different and there is a tooling zone in the manual that shows you exactly all these standard tool point dimensions. So on this particular model, B0326 Mark III, standard tool point is measured from this face of the gang plate right here, or this face, if you can see right there, or this face might be easier even to see, this front face right here, to the tool tip should be 26 millimeters. So the distance from here to the tool tip, 26 millimeters. If you have that sticking out exactly 26 millimeters, you will not need to put any kind of geometry in your offset page. You can leave it right at zero and it's gonna be right to size within a thousandth or two. So I'm gonna slide this in loose I have no, I'm gonna to go to my offset screen by pressing offset. I'm gonna to go to geometry. We always wanna use geometry when we touch off our tool. And then once the tool is touched off and measured, then we're gonna use where, which is here, to fine tune that tool. We're gonna to run apart, we're gonna take a measurement, see how far off we are. Should be a thousandth, maybe two thousandths off. Maybe, maybe it's spot on and we're gonna make those fine adjustments of a thousandth or two in our wear screen. In our geometry screen, it's typically gonna be your bigger numbers, which are gonna be your measurement numbers. So this is tool number 27. We're gonna use offset number 27. So 27, number search. I have nothing in my geometry. Everything is zeros. That's exactly what I want when we're doing this method. So we're going to go to MDI. I'm gonna press the program key. And I'm gonna say T2700, that's tool 27 with no offset, end of block, insert, and cycle start. And I'm in dry run, I got the door open, so it automatically goes into dry run. I'm gonna turn my feed rate override all the way down just to be safe. What this is gonna do is it's gonna call up my tool, number 27, and it's gonna put it right on center with the main spindle. So I am now, it finished the code. I am now on center line over here. So this edge should be on center with the main spindle. And then I'm gonna type in X and then my stock diameter, 1.0. I'm, I'm using one inch bar, so X 1.0. And I'm gonna hit cycle start. Now remember, my tool is still loose in here. I have. I have no, nothing tightened down, so my tool, I want to push it back as far as I can. I hit cycle start, and my gang slide is going to move to a known distance and stop. So I now slide my tool out to my bar because we're at one inch. I'm going to use one hand to hold the tool like so, and the other hand is going to tighten up. Just snug my screws here, all three. Tighten those three. All I have to do is just snug it up. Now I come back to MDI and I always type in G28, U0, end of block insert, cycle start. Now the reason I use G28, U0, rather than handling my X axis away, is because it's very easy to make the mistake of rotating the handle the wrong direction and actually running your tool into your bar stock because it's up against it right now. So in order to eliminate the chance of doing such a thing, 
if you do G28 U0 and then hit cycle start, it, the gang slide will always move away from the material. It'll always go to the home position away from the material. So you see it move away. So our tool is set to standard tool point. Our X geometry is set to zero. From this, this distance right here to right here is gonna be 26 millimeters. Anything more or less as far as stick out goes is gonna require an offset in your geometry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and snug these up. And I just wanna go back and forth a few times, make sure you get them all snugged up equally. That tool is done. Touch off procedure number one is all set for a turning tool. No geometry using standard tool point of 26 millimeters from the gang face to the tip of your tool.